The Ukrainian Cultural Center in Los Angeles has been collecting aid for refugees and holding charity events and auctions to help Ukrainians back home. 16 artists and photographers who are currently residing in Los Angeles donated their artworks to, for the silent auction to raise money to support Ukraine. Photojournalist Robert Zirgulis, a Latvian, has recently returned from Ukraine. He brought back a lot of photos and a lot of pain. It's just horrible. What happened? It's horrible. And I want the world to see what happened. I went to certain places where buildings were blown up and the floors collapsed and there, there was the smell of death that was still there because the people were so buried that they couldn't get to them. And what's really shocking is there were people living next door to the, you know, the smell of death. Borislav Alexandrov has also been involved in volunteer work. He just returned from Ukraine, having delivered humanitarian aid to the country. Body armor, helmets. I went to Poland twice, went to Ukraine once, delivering all these things. Alexandrov's fellow volunteer Yekaterina Marchuk has been collecting humanitarian aid in Los Angeles since the start of the war. We all cry together, we mourn the losses, we support our country however we can, our families, our homes, all of us still have parents in Ukraine, friends and relatives. This is very painful. Representatives of the mailing service MIST are here as well. MIST has been sending humanitarian packages to Ukraine since the war began. As a thank you, the White House gave MIST employees special gifts. They have gifted us some of these coins to give to those people who have helped us and donated to ship what is needed, like medical supplies and baby food, to Ukraine. The owner of MIST, Californian Igor Stadnik, has sent thousands of tons of humanitarian help to Ukraine in the past six months. On top of that, he helps Ukrainian refugees in Los Angeles. We're hosting refugees. We have a family living with us now, a mother, daughter and granddaughter. Their dad is on the front lines. He was among the soldiers who put up the Ukrainian flag on Snake Island. We have one more young woman living with us, four people in total. And all involved in the effort, artists, volunteers and locals, say they will help Ukraine until the war is over. For VOA Russian in Los Angeles, California, NRI's VOA News.